Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller. And today I am headed out to, I think, a couple yard sales and maybe a couple thrift stores for 50% off day. Today's kind of a wild card. I was really busy last night, so I didn't have time to properly plan a route or anything like that. There's not a whole lot going on anyway as far as yard sales go today. So it's gonna just, you know, be one of those days where I'll see what happens, see what I run into. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, so we're at the first stop. on to the second stop. This one was not advertised. I just saw it while driving. All right, there's an estate sale here, but it's looking a little shady. We'll see. I'll tell you one thing, it is not smelling too fresh in here. All of this stuff is like cracked and definitely needs a lot of cleaning. Sorry for the choppy filming right here. I think I had the settings wrong on my GoPro. I apologize. Is there more upstairs in this?
all of those boxes over there were empty. Alrighty guys, I'm back and now I'm going to show you what I bought. It's going to be a quick, quick video actually. Um, well, a quick haul portion anyhow, because I'm not going to show you, well, I'll explain. So, hmm. Oh, okay. The first stop. Let's start. Let's start there. The first stop, I only ended up getting one dress still has the Ross tag on it, but this is um, in Focus Studio. These dresses sell for me, so if I find them at a decent price, I will pick them up. It's kind of pretty. Um, size 10. So that is the only thing I ended up picking up there. She had a pair of Merrill flip-flops, which were nice, but she wanted $10 for them, and I just didn't want to pay 10 for them, so... I did not get those. So then the second stop, I ended up picking up this J. Crew pink. Uh, I believe this is the tippy sweater. I believe this style is called. Um, I've sold these before, some patterned, some not. Um, they always sell pretty well. Uh, some of the pattern ones sell really well, but this is nice. It's in very nice condition. Size small, making sure it doesn't smell, it doesn't. It's it's something else that smells. Um, it's a, well, I'll show you. But anyway, uh, another J. Crew. This is a perfect top, blue flowers, kind of cute. These are $2 a piece, these J. Crew items. And this is uh, Zara, be nice or go away. Just a little graphic kind of or not graphic, but I don't know, one of those something. And the nice is kind of like embellished. Can you see that? So that was the third stop. Then the next stop, I believe it was, I actually bought, um, I bought some of this washi tape for my daughter. She likes, she likes this stuff. I thought that was kind of nice, like a houndstooth pattern and it was a dollar. I'm making sure it doesn't smell. It does kind of smell. You know what? I bought this stuff from teenagers. So I didn't even think about giving it the sniff test. You know what I mean? Like I, I thought like everything should have been okay. Well, I just got the stuff out of the back of my car. And I actually also bought a little pink like from Victoria's Secret, one of the dogs. Because I have a couple here and I'm just trying to hold on to them till I get like a lot of them and then just sell them all together. So I found one today at this sale and I picked it up. I'm not even showing that to you. That thing really reeks of cigarette smoke. So that is still out in the garage. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to toss it because I don't think that thing is ever going to like air out. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell that. Um, but also from that sale, I did get these this I didn't think smelled like smoke when I was just taking it out of my car, but now that it's in here, I think it kind of does. Um, but I'm definitely still gonna sell this and just disclose that in the listing. The sad part is it's new with tags, um, size 4XL, so that's like kind of cool. But anyway, this is a White River Fly Shop, they're waiters, which is like the perfect, I'm just gonna have to keep showing you like lifting these up here it is like 
the perfect time of year to sell these, right? Because like fishing season, I believe, is just starting or maybe has just started. Um, so yeah, these are 4XL. So that's like pretty cool and brand new with the smoke smell. So that's rough. That's real rough. I, I don't... And then it's got this, I don't know, maybe that's like a belt. And there's a mesh, maybe carrying case. And it looks like, it looks like a patch is also in here. And it is with the box. The box probably really smells smoky because it's like cardboard. So yeah, I really don't like to sell anything that smells like smoke. But this I am going to sell anyway. I picked that up for five dollars um and I just I know someone's gonna want that for fishing season and yeah so that's what I'm gonna do but yeah, like I said I really didn't think about like smelling that stuff and I really should have sometimes I look really weird because I walk around sales like smelling everything but like I said really don't like to buy smoky stuff okay actually I was gonna show you that item but I'm gonna try to go in order here so the next item this came from the Erie house. Now, I don't know what the deal was really, but it wasn't really taken care of. Um, it had all the ivy growing all over. And as you could see from earlier in the video, you could even see it like through the inside windows. It's, I don't know. The whole place just had a very eerie kind of vibe to it. And it stunk. It really did. Anyway, listen, I don't know what the circumstances was were. I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying it felt a little eerie being in there. And I didn't really find anything worthwhile buying. I didn't even go into the basement. My mother actually was with me. She went into the basement. And it really had a strong, strong odor down there. Um, kind of, kind of kind of of the bodily fluid nature so anyhow let's let's move on here I got this the box is all jacked up right now but this is a Santa's marching band uh this is a Mr. Christmas item and this came from the upstairs it's basically like um you can hang them you can display them like flat on a tabletop or something but you can hang them from a tree it's like a uh, the bells play and the woman did plug it in for me and I made sure that it worked and I got it for five dollars so Mr. Christmas stuff sells really well for me especially around the holidays I did sell a set similar to this back in November or December I sold it for sixty dollars I believe this set I don't think I'm going to sell it with the box I feel like it's going to be a lot of unnecessary shipping costs to do that because it's going to be hard to get all this stuff back in this packaging perfectly and stuff anyway, just because the, the way this set is. So I think I'm going to remove it from the packaging and just sell it without. So yeah, that was the only thing I got there. Then this, I believe, is the last of the stuff I got. Okay, so this came from the last sale I went to. I was actually on my way to the thrift store to check out 50% off day and found this sale. So I picked this up. I don't normally pick up baskets. Every now and then I do. I never pick up longer burger baskets. I typically, I, I know I'm not a big fan of baskets myself, although I do have a couple. I have one kind of right next to me that holds my, um, I think it's like an LL Bean. It's got leather handles. It's kind of cute. It um, holds some of the stuff I use, like when I'm photographing, like I have my lint roller in there and a couple clips if I need to clip a larger item to the mannequin and just stuff like that. So, all right. I use baskets once in a while. I don't particularly care for them. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm just selling this bad boy. So this is a Peterborough basket from the Peterborough Basket Company. I picked this up because it spins. 
It's got the little Lazy Susan base. It's got four divided sections, as you can see, and it's got all of the plastic inserts. This thing is in like perfect condition. And I just feel like this is, I just feel like this is gonna be a good piece to sell. So hopefully it will be. I'm not sure what I'll list it at, maybe $29.99. That's probably what I'll list that at. And then I picked up another Monopoly game, but I think this will do well than some of the other ones that I've shown you in the past. So this is a Christmas story. We all recognize that guy, Ralphie. Um, collector's edition Monopoly game. I opened it up. It looked like all the pieces were there. I will have to go through it again to double check. But I think this should be about a $35 game, maybe close to 50 around the holidays. You never know. So I still have to look that up and find out. Then the last thing I bought, and I'm not going to show you all of them because that's just too much to haul in right now and unbox and everything like that. And you don't really need to see every individual one. But at this last sale, um, they had three village houses sitting on the table and I was looking at them. They are Hawthorne Village Christmas Buildings and these are the Philadelphia Eagles uh, branded buildings. So um, the little flags and stuff are with it. They're just in the box. Um, the man took everything out separately and just kind of put it in here. So they all come with their cords and everything. Some of them do need to be cleaned up a little bit because this man did have them displayed for a while. Um, so he had three of these. Um, I asked how much they were and he said that he wanted $10 a piece or he said he had more in the basement and he would take $100 for all of them. Um, they were, I think he had a total of 12 altogether. And also some accessories, like some people and whatnot. So he, he was like, well, do you want to come down into the basement and look at them? So I did. I ran down real quick, gave them a look. Um, one I noticed had a repair to it. All the other ones looked fine, except for being a little bit dirty. I will try to wipe them down when I'm, uh, you know, getting ready to list them or whatever. I did try to get him down to 90. I asked him if he would take 90 for them and he was firm at $100. So I bought them. I bought them. These, usually the Hawthorne Villages, the buildings sell well for me. And I feel like, and there's not a lot of these online right now. Um, very, very few as a matter of fact. I did, because I looked these up after the fact. Um, I just, I bought them because I knew that I was going to buy them anyway, because I, I, I've done well with these before. I've never sold the Eagles, but I've sold, um, I've sold like the John Deere buildings. I've sold different Halloween buildings, diff different things. So uh, some of the Coca-Cola ones, I believe. So anyway, there have been some that have sold for $25, $35, um, I'm not sure what I'll list all of them at, but I think some will be listed for about 25. I definitely think some will be listed for around 35 and some will be listed probably closer to 50. And I think that I will sell them without a problem. Um, just because of past experience with the buildings and you know, these aren't being made anymore. So it's not like if somebody wants to complete their set, they don't have a whole lot of options as far as like where to find them at this point. So yeah, that's what I bought from that, that sale. So that was pretty cool. Um, I, I like finding like bulk lots of things like that. And uh, so yeah, I paid, I paid a little under $10 a piece, which I mean, it is kind of a lot, but I know I'll make a profit on it. But yep, that's it. Then I went to the thrift store, but I am going to put that in a separate video. I actually went in there with the intention of not buying very much because now that yard season, yard sale season is coming around and you know, all the rummage sales are going to be happening. 
I will do most of my sourcing from those places for a while. So I went into the thrift store with, you know, even though it's 50% off, I went in there with the intention of like, you know, not buying a whole lot. And I ended up buying quite a bit. So I have my work cut out for me as usual. I have quite the, quite the pile going on. So I hope this week is less hectic and I get some of it done. So anyhow, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed to see a little bit of the yard sailing. Um, yeah, and stick around. Subscribe to my channel. There will be more like this coming out. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share my videos. It would be greatly appreciated. Comment. Uh, any questions, general comments, anything, I'd love to hear from you. I always try to respond. And yeah, till next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.